all the variants seem to be more sprinters. They spend a lot of their energy ramping up that virus factory as fast as they can, which means it potentially can spread more easily just because there's more virus out there. Um, and then it peters out. If you all watch races, the marathoners have to keep up that consistency throughout the whole race because they got to go 26.2 miles. Sprinters got to go 100 meters and then they're done. They have zero energy. You've all seen those races where they collapse on the ground because they've given it its all. And that's what we've seen with the variants. There's been a lot of studies looking at viral dynamics of the variants, starting with alpha, looking at beta, looking at delta, and also with Omicron. And what's different about these is that piece. They ramp up their virus production tremendously high at the beginning, and then it plateaus typically around two to three days. That's often when you are finally symptomatic, and then it goes down very rapidly average about five days, sometimes out to seven. This is sort of the bell curve of what we look at in terms of how quickly virus goes up and down. And some of the changes, so when we went to 10 days from 14 days, that was based on those similar viral dynamics for the original strain. Um, with um, alpha, it was a little different because again, it went a little faster and it burned out a little faster. Same thing with Delta. We know most people got infected with Delta within five days, not 10 days, and then we're kind of over it, although the severity of Delta was different, obviously. And now with Omicron, it looks like probably two to three days if you even get symptoms and then you're done. The other thing I want to make sure everybody understands when we talk about viral dynamics is the fact that it starts before you know. And this is true not just for COVID. This is true for influenza. This is true for RSV. Most upper respiratory viruses, once you've been exposed and are actually infected, are working their way, developing their virus factory for about 48 hours before you even have any symptoms. So there are a lot of people that have been walking around that feel just fine, that potentially could have been shedding virus at any given time. And that again is goes with the CDC's recommendations of you are most infectious before you know that. That is not unique to this. This is a respiratory viral phenomena. And I think people need to remember that because I think there's a lot of consternation about, oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna get exposed. You probably already have been and you just didn't know it. And you were either fortunate because we have all these things in place to keep you protected or your immune system kicked in and took care of it and you never even knew you had it. 